Let's learn how to make some amazing African juices to include sorrel or hibiscus fruit punch or African fruit punch. Also some baobab juice. And sometimes it's so hard to choose between the sorrel or the baobab that I even made a mixture of the most amazing juice. Stay tuned. All right, let's talk about hibiscus. Um, some people call it sorrel or jaimeca in Spanish, um, but this flowering plant has so many amazing benefits to include antioxidants, um, vitamin C, and also can help lower or regulate your blood pressure. You can make a variety of drinks uh, with this hibiscus flower. And I made plenty of videos um, using hibiscus flour. Um, you can either drink it as tea, so you can drink it hot, as I made this tea video. And by the way, this, one, this is one of the most amazing teas, especially if you are on your period for women who have cramps and um, discomfort and pain and things like that during their menstrual. But this tea concoction is so amazing at not only soothing um, your PMS symptoms, but it is also a great anti-inflammatory tea. Um, sometimes I mix this hibiscus with uh, green tea as well. And then I made this a delicious um, hibiscus fruit juice uh, using ginger, pineapple, lemon, and other spices. This full video is also on my playlist in case you want to check that out. However, in this video, I am going to uh, be making kind of like an African fruit punch, I like to call it, by using these wonderful fruits uh, to include orange, um, some pineapple as well as the hibiscus flower to make one of the best tea slash juices ever. And by the way, this video will include like three or four different um, juices uh, recipes. So for the first recipe, I am using um, some pineapples as well as some orange. I already cleaned and washed the pineapple and I even have a video, full video on the benefits of pineapple, how to wash it clean and do so many things with it. Uh, you can also check that video out. But anyway, I already washed it and I cut off the bottom. Now I'm cutting off the top and I'm only gonna use less than one fourth of this pineapple. So you wanna cut like two round pieces of this pineapple and after you cut it into those round pieces, you wanna cut it into thinner pieces. Um, and the purpose of that is to get it to steep more into the tea when you boil it and you will see later uh, when I boil the tea. And so I'm just cutting out two pieces and I'm gonna go ahead and dice them up into like uh, small triangular shape. So I'll keep the rest of the pineapple for um, later uses. So I'm gonna go ahead and dice this up into smaller pieces and you can dice them up however you wanna dice them up as long as they're small enough pieces so that they can steep in the water when you boil it. So the smaller the pieces are, the more flavor it will bring into the juice or the tea. That's why it's best to cut it into small pieces. Next, I'm gonna prepare the orange. And since I'm using the skin, I like to buy organic when I use the skin of citrus, but um, there wasn't any organic oranges for whatever reason. But anyway, I did wash it in uh, a vinegar baking soda solution. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut it into um, thin enough slices. And once again, the purpose of cutting the, your fruit into small enough slices is to bring out more of their flavor when you boil it. And I'm only using half of the orange and I saved the other half for something else. Next, we're gonna prepare the hibiscus. Now, if you don't know what uh, hibiscus is or if you've never tried it before, it has this tart taste. It's, it's kind of like uh, strawberry lemonade um, when you do boil it and steep the flour. 
Um, so you want to go ahead and wash it just because there's some impurities in them. Um, you want to wash it with lukewarm water. Not too warm though because you don't want it to start steeping. So how much hibiscus you use depends on how much you want to make and also how strong you want it. But uh, a rule of thumb is that for every cup of hibiscus flour, you're going to use four cups of water. So it's going to be a one to four ratio. And so I added the hibiscus in this pot of water and then I'm adding in the pineapple followed by the slices of oranges. This is optional, but I also like to add a stick of cinnamon stick. It just give it this really nice taste. So you wanna boil this on medium low for about uh, eight to 10 minutes. You can also drink it as tea, so you can drink it hot, but it also tastes so amazing, chilled or even iced. When it cooled down a little bit, I went ahead and strained it. And I mainly drank this as juice, but you can also drink it as tea. And even when chilled, so just put it in a small pot and warm it up if you want to drink it as tea. And during the straining process, you also want to squeeze the... Um, slices of orange and pineapple so that you can squeeze out the juices from them and obviously you can use a spatula or a spoon or something but i just like to grab whatever is closest to me um when i film my videos you know just because i don't always remember to gather everything and then secondly i always have problem with storage so i try to film as quickly as possible because um hibiscus flour is kind of tart you can use sugar but please 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 do yourself a favor try to use cane sugar natural cane sugar organic if you can uh, avoid the um that overly processed ultra processed uh white sugar um, or you can use honey, but as you know, honey is kind of pricey. Or you can use agave nectar like I'm using over here or coconut sugar. But just try to use healthy sugar and sweeten it to your taste. Also, adding the fruits like pineapple and orange helps it sweeten up a little bit. This is what it looks like once it was done and poured into a cup. So, so, so delicious. Sometimes I like to add watermelon ice cubes in my hibiscus juice as I am doing in this video. And watermelon goes pretty well with hibiscus. Hibiscus is pretty versatile when it comes to making juices. So there's a lot of juices or flavors and fruits you can mix it with. It depends on what you're going for, but it goes really super well with pineapple, ginger, watermelon. So it depends on what you're going for. But this is one of my favorite recipes using hibiscus. Um, you can also check out my other hibiscus videos for more um, recipes on that. So my next recipe is making babao juice. And these are my recipes. I am using baobab powder and you can also use the fresh baobab which is rare to see in the states so um, normally people export the powdered one like i have here i'm using coconut milk as well as regular half and half and some water um, also some uh, spices like vanilla um, some nutmeg all spice seasoning as well as some sugar Baobab is referred to as the tree of life because it has so many benefits with all the parts of the tree from the trunk to the branches to the leaves and the fruit itself which is the powdered form in this case. Baobab is a great source of antioxidants and vitamin C. It has minerals like potassium, magnesium, iron, zinc. It's a good source of calcium and fiber as well as other minerals and vitamins. Baba may also help you regulate your blood sugar levels, and it is also a great source of collagen. And it is also satiating because it has the thick, kind of like mucilage texture to it, so it keeps you fuller longer. The only thing about baba drink or the fruit is that people use it to um, treat 
diarrhea even though it's high in fiber but it may also um, constipate you if you do have constipation problems so just be careful with that but for the normal person you should be fine using baba at its normal um, recommended um, amount for this baba juice recipe i am making between 30 to 32 ounces how much of the baba powder you use depends on how strong you want it and how much you're making but since i'm making about 30 to 32 ounces I am using two third cups of the bao bao with about three and a half to four cups of water. And I added the bao bao um, powder in this jug. So I added two of the one third cup of uh, bao bao powder just because I kind of like mine kind of strong. So once everything is added, I went ahead and added in my spices and then I added some sugar to it and just mix it up really, really well. I also added one third of a cup of coconut milk and about half a cup of half and half. Then I added some spices and I did not measure, I just went by my taste. Also, just to let you know, Bao Bao is a natural um, fruit powder, so it does settle on the bottom. So every time you use it, you're supposed to stir it up to get the powder to mix in well. And once it was done, I put it in my fridge just to chill it a little bit. Um, and then you can also add ice to it. By the way, this is coconut um, ice balls. I like to make flavored ice, so I'm always making flavored ice recipe. And summer is coming, so I'll be making more flavored ice recipe on my TikTok. If you're not following me there, make sure you do follow me so you can get some amazing recipes, all kinds of recipes. But this Baba drink is the bomb. Number three recipe is making hibiscus syrup. And the reason why I included this um, recipe in this video is because I'm gonna use it with the Bao Bao drink. Now, I recently came up with this recipe and I am in love with it. That's why I'm sharing with you guys. And if you do appreciate any of my videos, make sure you do give it a like. But hibiscus syrup is an amazing syrup to substitute not only um for your other syrup uses like you can use it on your pancakes your waffles and you can use it to sweeten your tea so once again i'm um i added some hibiscus juice in this and this is just plain hibiscus no sugar added um so i added about a cup and a half of the hibiscus juice and then i added about half a cup of sugar and you want to boil this for about 20 to 25 minutes on medium low and maybe like five minutes before it's done uh, lower it to like low low and you want to get it to a kind of thick consistency like this but not too thick i made uh, a mistake of making it a little too thick the first time i made it and also the thicker it is the sweeter it gets because you have to boil it down to get it this thick or add more sugar to it so since it's not preserved and it's gonna be put in the fridge, it doesn't need to be um, too thick because once it's put in the fridge, it's gonna get thicker. So here it is, I put it in this little jar and I'm gonna use it in this cup to kind of decorate it, but also to give this baba juice uh, a different flavor basically. So I am gonna add the baba drink to this and I don't know what it is, but Bao Bao goes so well with hibiscus as well. So I just, you know, added this um, syrup in this cup. Um, also, the Bao Bao wasn't that sweet, so I just wanted to get it a little sweeter. So I added this um, syrup to this cup and just stir it. And it gave it such an amazing flavor. And um, I like it so much so that I made another recipe using Bob hibiscus juice as well as baba, which I'm going to show you in a little bit. But this drink is so amazing, so healthy and delicious. Like I... I'm just so in love with all these natural juices and I love making them and I like to share 
uh, with people just because a lot of the juices that we buy in the uh, stores are very overly processed and has a lot of sugars that we don't need. Another way that I like to use this syrup is by um, using it on my pancake. And this is actually a gluten-free plantain um, pancake, not pancake, sorry, syrup. Um, waffles that I made and I'm adding the syrup to it. As you can see, it got really uh, a little too thick when I put it in the fridge for a few days. But anyway, since I was having a hard time sometimes deciding which of these juices I wanted, I decided to put them together and make a unique hibiscus baba drink. So I, I just added um, the hibiscus in this baba drink. Since I tried it with the um, hibiscus syrup and liked it, I decided to, you know, just add some of the hibiscus juice to um, to the baba juice. And here it is looking very pink and it was delish as expected. So this is also one of the other ways that you can enjoy both. Um, if you cannot decide which one you want, you know, or if you just want to, you know, or if you want both flavor and taste, you can obviously put it together like I did. Anyway, this wraps it up for this video. I hope you try some of these recipes. And if you do not know about hibiscus or baba, I hope you try it because it is not only nutritiously good for you, but it, they are both delicious and you can make so many recipes with them. Anyway, this wraps it up for this video. I thank you for your time. And if you do appreciate this video, please do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel and you're into healthy habits when it comes to beauty, when it comes to recipe and food, make sure you do subscribe to my channel and hit the post notification button so you'll be notified every time I post a video. I hope you have a blessed day, evening, night, wherever you are. And I hope to catch you on my next video.